I have spent 30 hours using the DeepBrain AI Studios and I'm going to take you through the top five features and show you how to use it. It has everything from AI image generators and text generators all the way to cloning your own avatar and create your own custom avatar that sounds and looks exactly like you. So if you've ever wanted to produce professional quality videos without the hassle of traditional production methods, you're in for a treat. The DVD you just watched wasn't real. It was completely made with AI using AI studios. It's amazing how closely it has replicated my own voice that becomes difficult even for myself to tell if that is me or the AI. So here's how you can do it as well. Let me take you through the top five features that I enjoyed the most and teach you how to use it. Jump into AI Studios. On the main page, just to walk you through some of the main features on the interface, you got uh, the left-hand side menu that has the avatars, the voices, and the template, which we'll explore in a minute. You have the top bar where you can enter a prompt and generate a photo or a video. You can also find the tools within AI Studios through that search as well. And then you got the main categories from AI avatars to voices, generators, and uh, features for marketing and social media. And then below that, you have the actual tool. So if I'm interested in creating an AI avatar, I press the AI avatars button, and here I have three options. One is to use my own video or webcam to create that custom avatar. The second one is to provide just a photo. So with just a photo, you can create your custom avatar as well. And you also have the green background if you wanna use that. So let's go through custom avatar. So got a bit of an explanation on what to do to get the best results. You can watch that if you like. And then I create, press the create. So as you can see here, it's got my webcam running and I can basically face the camera, record my video and then submit this. This will create that avatar, no problem. So you gotta make sure that you're sitting still, you're not moving around. The camera is also fixed to a tripod or something for the best results, obviously. It recommends that you close your mouth when you're not talking. That can also help with the mouth. It should be around two minutes uh, minimum. I am gonna just upload a file, which is again, the same recording with the same camera. I just have done it before and I can just use it. So open that video file. I can even play it, check if it's all good. Hello everyone. So, so I'm gonna use this video to generate an AI clone of myself. Perfect. So that's a one minute, 50 seconds. I'm gonna give it a name, just call it Majid. And so the checklist, your video, the lighting is good, You're looking at the camera, the mouth is closed during the breaks. You don't turn your head too much. So one of the most impressive features of the DeepBrain AI Studios and its avatar feature is the multi-avatar functionality. So on scene one, it could be me talking about something. So what that means is I can have different avatars with different scripts to create a very comprehensive video. So the first thing is myself, Having this script, the second scene, it could be either me or someone else. I can choose this guy or I can choose just an AI avatar or it could be Samantha and I can paste in another script. So I'm gonna paste in this script, press play, and that's gonna generate that video in Samantha's voice. So you can have very interesting conversations and debates with two or three or four or as many as you want uh, different avatars in that one video. One of the most impressive aspects of DeepBrain AI Studios is its ability to create videos with multiple AI. So that's amazing. So when I export this video, if I have multiple scenes, it's gonna export all of them with the different avatars. And this will turn into a very, very interesting and engaging video if you wanna post it online, or if you wanna use it for your training material. Very versatile. So I'll go ahead and, 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 and remove that and then add my pause and everything and then export it. I think a little bit of a head movement is a good idea because it will replicate those head movements in the video, which will make it more human-like as opposed to very robot-like. Uh, so you need to sign to ensure that this is actually you and confirm video. So this is gonna take a few minutes to then generate a, a custom avatar and then I can type in any text and it's gonna say that in my own voice. And as you have watched in that video, the voice is extremely, if I don't say exactly the same, it is extremely close. I have tried other tools as well, even 11 labs, and I feel like 
that one is not exactly me. It's an English version of me, if that makes sense. And the tone of voice and intonation is me. But again, it's like someone else replicating my voice, someone else mimicking my voice. But this is exactly me. And I'm very surprised to see that. This next feature is going to be very interesting to people who are creating short form viral videos. So basically the way it works is you find a viral long form video, you get the AI to generate a bunch of short form videos from that that have the potential to go viral. So you can upload a file or you can even use a YouTube link. So go to YouTube, find the video in your niche that has gone viral. For example, this video has received 3 million views from Alex and just copy that URL. Go back into AI Studios and paste that in. Again, you have some tips. It is now going in the head and generating all those videos for me. It took only a few seconds and now I have specific parts of the video the way it thinks it has the potential to go viral, pulled out, it has captions around it, and I can export them. You can specify the length of the video as well, if you want it to be longer, shorter, whatever purpose you want it for, but basically it has generated specific clips from that video that I can post online. And this is how you see so many of those channels post a lot of Alex Hormozzi or someone else's videos with the captions online. Shift in our lifetime, it is the equivalent in my opinion of the moon lane. So there you have it. I can select whichever ones I want and press export. Or I can press regenerate to get a fresh new set of videos. So the next one is AI Voices. Click through AI Voices and you have two options. One is the AI Voice Generator that you type in the text and the AI will generate the voice. And the second one is cloning your actual your own voice that you can use to create soundtracks. I also wanted to mention that AI Studios has plenty of preset voices that you can try. So some of them are British, American, male, female, and they also have their own hashtags so you can find similar voices. But also you can create your own. So in order to create your own voice, click on that voice cloning option. There you can record a piece of your voice and have the AI create the clone. It explains that you only have to record your voice for 10 seconds. 10 seconds is not a lot of time. Just imagine how advanced AI has become that with a short clip of your voice, you can create a very, very close match up to that voice in the clone version. So I'm gonna press that record button. DeepBrain's AI Studio simplifies the traditional video production process, providing you with the best of AI for content creation at your fingertip. Stop and I'm gonna let the AI clone that voice. It might take a few minutes and then we're gonna test it out. Okay, now that my AI voice is ready, I'm gonna try it out. From the left navigation, go to voices and you can see my name along with all the preset AI voices there. So I can try it out. Hello, I am a virtual human created using deep brain TTS technology and avatar technology. It's insane how exactly the same it is. It's, it is a scary. So I'm gonna try it out. So I'm gonna press that, try this voice, and you can paste in a script or just type in anything, and this will generate the voice based on that. So I'm just gonna paste in a little bit of a script. Hello everyone, blah, blah, blah. And my name is all selected. So the limit is 300 words. So I'm gonna just get rid of some of it and you can generate this in multiple parts, right? So just, just to try it, so that's fine. Platform, I think up to there would be perfect. And press that, generate AI voice. Just give it a few seconds and it's gonna come back with that voice. I think we're there. Okay, let's play it. Hey everyone, Majid here. Today we're diving into something that's going to blow your mind. Deep Brain AI Studios. I have tried Eleven Labs and that was great, but this is something else. So this is amazing. You can change the script, regenerate it, and then download the sound to use in your videos. You can easily start your faceless YouTube or any social media channel and use this with graphics to create videos and post them online. So the next one is AI generators. If you press that AI generator button, you can see you have three options, text, image, and video. So text is Pretty straightforward, you have probably used this in ChatGPT or other places. So you can provide a prompt, press generate, 
wait a few seconds and get the results back. So the good prompt in means a good output out. So the more you spend on putting in the details, the better result you can get. Here's an example of a generated video script based on my prompt for someone to become a tech social media influencer. So that's what that is. And the amazing thing about that, once you generate the text, it has this option to then turn that into a video. So you can go straight from the script to turning that into a video. So I'm gonna copy this because I might need it later. And I'm gonna try this create video button as well. So press that. And this is gonna take a few seconds and it's going to put me into the video editor of the application. So here you can choose a specific model. You can choose yourself if you've already created your custom avatar or you can choose any of the pre-made AI avatars. I'm gonna choose Samantha, press play button. You're gonna hear the voice based on Samantha or yourself or whoever that avatar is but the video will be generated once it's been published and exported. So before we continue, I noticed a lot of you watching my videos don't follow my account. If you get value from these videos, please do me a favor and follow the account. That will definitely support the channel and allow me to post more interesting videos about AI. Let's go back and try out the AI video generator. So go back into AI generators again and then click on the video generator. Here I'm gonna provide a different type of prompt to see if you can create like a drone shot type video. A drone footage of London in high quality 4K of daytime around Big Ben, right? Press generate. So this is gonna take a few minutes potentially to generate that video and then I'm gonna show you the results. There we go, it only took uh, two or three minutes to generate this video. I can now play it and download or edit the video. I think the style is not realistic. Maybe with the correct prompt, we can make it more realistic or maybe with a more detailed prompt. Now, if I press download video, it's gonna download that into my computer. And if I press edit, it's gonna allow me to edit the video. I'm gonna try a different prompt as well, just to see what it looks like to try one of their own preset prompts to see if the result will be different. So I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to get the video and then I'll show you the results. And again, the new video is ready, let's play it. It does look great, but it is the animation style. So I think it will be great for creating animations a lot more than using it to create a realistic footage. So for realistic footage, there are other great tools that you can use like Sora, it just come out or Hey Gen or Runway. So I have covered some of the very interesting features of AI Studios today, but that's by no means is everything you can use on this application. So if you look at the application, there are so many other tools that you can use from screen recorder that will record your screen and your face and you can create tutorial videos, training videos, or any sort of presentation with your face and your screen. The next one is the PDF or PowerPoint presentation into video. So if you have an existing presentation, you can upload that into this application and turn that into an actual video. It also has utility tools like social media downloader. So you can paste in a YouTube, TikTok, Instagram link and download that for free. You can even convert audio files and video files as well. So that's just some of the tools you can use uh, on this application. So hopefully you can take a look. The link and everything is in description. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. I'll put the link in the description. Give it a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Best of luck and follow for more.